Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Denise Salcedo, and I'm so excited to welcome my guests. Joining me today is now the two-time AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida. Ashida, how are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm so sorry you make waiting. <laughs> but yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, I was so excited when I found out that I was going to get the opportunity to interview you because I just think you're so freaking awesome. And now like we're heading into this big pay-per-view. You're the champion. I mean, there's so much to yeah. talk about. Uh, I want to <laughs> go ahead and kick things off, Sheeta, with asking you, uh, what does it feel like to once again be carrying the gold and be AEW Women's Champion? Ah, the night was the, I think that was the greatest moment in my life. And yeah, more for me, as more important is the in front of fans. Because the last one, the last time I was champion is no fans. Actually, I got a title at the first pay-per-view without fans and I lose the title at the pay-per-view the first we the fans come back so yeah during when I was champion all the time is without fans so I'm so happy to actually I can I could hear the share of the fans and that moment was the yeah I really that was the best and yeah actually it I felt it was like a dream <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. I can only imagine to finally get to feel like you mentioned the fans, you know, when you win, it must have felt so exciting because as a pro wrestler, that's what you live for, right? You live for the yes, reaction yes. of the fans. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I I know during the pandemics, even during the pandemics, fans cheer us and I, I can see that like on SNS or something, but yeah, it's... I th I think I felt always I felt like kind of uh anxiety because I couldn't hear I I couldn't actually hear that so yeah that was so that feeling was so strange I felt like it, it was a dream but also felt it's oh my god it's real <laughs> Yeah, real it's, fans is there, and, and I could hear that. <laughs> yes, hell yeah. Well, I got to tell you, man, it was so exciting to get to watch that. I was like, yes, they're going with Sheeta again. This is awesome. So, uh, you know, I do want to ask you, because now you are a two-time AEW Women's World Champion, and you're mm -hmm. also the longest reigning AEW Women's World Champion. Yeah, so for right. you, what was your reaction when you learned like, hey, I'm going to become champion once again? Like, did you ever think it was going to happen again? To be honest, not really. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I always wanted, but yeah. The first time I was champion, it was, it's only six months since I moved here. So there's a lot of things I couldn't do. For example, the interview, I, I'm not, I not felt comfortable with interview because I'm, yeah, I worry about my English. I know it's, I need still no, girl, you're work, kicking but... ass, man. You're <laughs> yeah, kicking but, ass. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm feeling much, much better. Yeah, I can relax and yeah, I can talk what I want to. So yeah, so I've always felt there are a lot of things I couldn't do as a champion. So I always wanted, but I really didn't expect 
it's happening like like it yeah especially right before the our biggest show Wembley so I was so surprised but I did it <laughs> Yeah, you did. And I just want to take a second really quickly and commend you because it is so hard to learn another language. And I know that sometimes people think, oh, it's so easy. You can learn another language. No, it's not. It is no, so ridiculously not. hard and people don't understand that. But I do want to take a second and really, I honestly think your English is phenomenal. And like hearing you like say like how comfortable you are now to be able to do an interview, like we need to applaud that for a second. Oh, that's freaking awesome, Sheeta. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm doing champion things now. I'm not here doing media. We're yeah. doing it all. <laughs> uh, so, you know, with that being said, you know, now that you, you mentioned like the responsibilities that come with being champion, as the champ, you you're leading the division, right? You're the face of the division. So for you, uh, you know, talking about that, uh, is there any pressure? Do you feel any pressure as champion, especially given like how much the fans are so ready to see, uh, you know, happen in the AEW women's division? Actually, yeah, there are a lot of pleasures. <laughs> yeah, but I had a pleasure before the last one, but I know the pleasure made me more stronger and better and I I think now I'm I know how I go with the pleasure and I I really think pleasure is good the feeling pleasure is good and <clears throat> pleasure this feeling this pleasure made me make me more stronger and much better wrestler so yeah I'm okay yeah. with that yeah it's almost like that pressure just adds you to make you, it makes you more disciplined, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what we need to become more professional wrestler, I believe. I think yeah. you're definitely right. I think a little bit of pressure is always something good because then it just makes you strive for something better. And if you're striving to be better, then all of a sudden you bring up the entire uh, division with you. So with that being said, uh, what are your goals as champion? Like, what do you want to see come out of this second reign of yours? Yeah, actually, what I want to do in this reign is what I couldn't before so yeah the interview is one of those and I really want to promo in the ring yeah that's what I couldn't before because of the worry about English so but now I feel I can do that and <laughs> yeah and I yeah, actually, I want, of course, I want to wrestle many girls in AEW, but I want, uh, I want to build more library. And I mean, in Japan, we usually have the many matches before the title match. Like, yeah. And we build the storylines and like a, the fans excitement so I'm happy if I can do that in this right too yeah I think that would be really awesome because that is definitely something that I think we want to see, right? We want to see more rivalries being built, like mm -hmm. you just said right now, because then that only amplifies like not just your title reign, but clearly the entire division. So I think that's really, uh, really, really awesome. So I do want to go ahead and bring this up because, uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk right now about the women's division. There's been a lot of people, you know, just talking about how they want to see more happen, right? They want to see uh, more matches. They want to see more more bigger feuds, more storylines, everything. The fans are very supportive of the yes. women's division. Uh, talk to us about that, you know, as part of the women's division, how does that make you feel? And what are your thoughts on that? Sorry, we're getting so good now. Yeah, the division, we have so many talented wrestlers and yeah, 
and yeah, I did a uh, main event of Dynamite two weeks. It's, I think it's big change and it's going to be better and better. Yeah. I think so too. I feel like you start to feel the change, right? You mentioned mm -hmm. that you were mm -hmm. in the main event back to back two weeks in a row. That was yeah. very exciting. What did you think like when you found out like, hey, you're the main event spot winning the title and then in your first title defense? Uh, yeah, I was like, it's, this is my reaction. I was like, am <laughs> I main event? <gasps> Yes, <laughs> I was like this, but yeah, actually, I I feel I'm always ready, and other female wrestlers ready too, always ready. So we're ready, always. So yeah, we can do more. Why not? <laughs> Hell yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that's going to be very exciting to see. And like, just from a person that watches the show, you know, on a weekly basis, I started to feel that when you became champion, Sheeta, I started to think, oh my God, I think we're going to start seeing, you know, this new era of what we can expect from the AEW women's division. And that within itself kind of felt very exciting. So I do want to bring this up also because we're going into all in. We're literally two weeks away. And this is given the ticket sales that AEW has done is like the biggest wrestling event. And that's how, you know, also AEW is promoting it as, but you're going into it as champion. And on this Wednesday's dynamite, they announced the fatal four way match, which is yeah. already including you since you defeated Anna. And then, uh, Tony Storm, who was the previous champion and two more spots. Um, I want to start off with asking you how you feel heading into the actual show as the champion. Yeah, first, I, of course, I need, yeah, I started to prepare the, our biggest show. And the first thing and most difficult for me is the imagining how the stadium is big and imagine I wrestle there because I was I was not a wrestling fan before until I started training so my I think my biggest show I watched as a, on live is I think in Tokyo Dome in Japan New Japan Pro Wrestling in Tokyo Dome and it was like a, just three times or four times maybe and Wembley Stadium is just two times bigger than Tokyo Dome. So I, it's so hard to imagine how, how I wrestled there and how fans see that. That was, that's the hardest part for me, but sorry, but I think I think I, I the experiences I wrestled in AEW for four years is helps a lot. Yeah, and talking about my mental, I think I'm ready. I'm not feel. I don't feel like it anxiety or uncomfortable things so talking about mental I'm so much ready and I'm just excited yeah you mentioned the sea of people I feel like the second you come out I'm sure you're already planning on doing this but like really stand there and kind of just like soak it all in right because it's gonna be <laughs> the sea of people like that's very exciting and you're gonna be right in the center of it, wrestling these three other women in the match, Uh, you know, two of which we still don't know who the additional two are going to be. But mm -hmm. for you to be defending your title um, at, you know, the biggest paper, uh, biggest shows of all time, 
um, against three other opponents. Uh, what did you think yes. of that like challenge? It's such an obstacle. Yeah, I I really hope Britt Baker going to be here there. Yeah, because yeah, like I said, this is the biggest show in our history and me and Britt Baker was the member from the very beginning. So we are original. So, <clears throat> you know, we are not like a friend, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I feel, I feel something special connecting with Britt Baker. And I know how she feel like a standing at Wembley Stadium and she, she wrestled from the very first pay-per-view and this is the big moment for us, for AEW. I really know the feeling, so I hope she is there. And I think I, so too. Yeah. Yeah. You you said you mentioned a lot of great stuff about Brit, you know, being there from the very beginning. And you guys obviously have your history with one another. So I do mm. think it would be really awesome to see uh Brit in that match if it were, you know, to happen. Obviously, we'll find out. Um, and I do also want to ask you because, like we mentioned, it's such a hurdle because you got three other opponents. So if you were to actually come out victorious. What would it mean to you to retain the championship at All In? Yeah, I would say the Dynamite 200 was the biggest moment in my life. But <laughs> I think new biggest moment is coming now. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Yeah. It's already about three weeks, but I have two biggest moment in my life is crazy but I always since I was a child I always wanted to do something and to do something in history I want to I want to my name to be on history I I was I didn't know how but I always wanted so I really feel the moment is coming so my dream since I was like a 3 years old then now the dream is coming true I really feel the moment is now. Yeah. So I love just I love the way that you said that, by the way, that you just wanted your name in like the history books. And I think you're definitely uh, making your way there and especially just even being part of this match at All In, going in as champion, like already that's step one. So I think that's really freaking awesome, Sheeta. I'm so excited for you. Um, You know, I do also, because you were kind of mentioning a little bit, you know, right now about your dream and having, you know, been with AEW and having some really great moments in your career. Uh, You know, you, you've been with AEW since 2019 it's been a while you know four years now um how would you say AEW has changed your life oh yeah uh it was crazy big change uh I I've been Russell 15 years now and and it's so different in Japanese wrestling and here the so yeah I I believe still Japanese Joshi wrestling is the best in the world but the talking about business in the US the wrestling business is huge and it's crazy. So 
I just feel like it. I. I open the door and the huge world is just there. I didn't know. It's crazy. Just. Yeah, I. If I was in Japan now, I couldn't imagine how the wrestling world is big. And <clears throat> that means AEW brings me the, uh, can I? Oh yeah, do what you need Sorry. to do. Do what you need to do. <laughs> hey, I don't blame you, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so AEW brings me possibility, new possibility I couldn't imagine before. So yeah, maybe I can be the like a hired star and. I couldn't imagine I wrestle in front of uh no I in front of fans, biggest fans in Wembley. I just couldn't imagine, but now everything is possible because of AEW. That's it's, so cool. You're getting yeah. all these like it was it's what they say, you know, all these possibilities you didn't know could happen, happen, and now like these yeah. doors are opening for you. Mm hmm that's crazy and so amazing man that is so cool oh my god like you don't even know what can happen next right like we're just like on the precipice of things so i think <laughs> that's really awesome it's a very exciting um you know outlook right because the future is bright you don't know what can happen and already so much has happened in mm -hmm. AEW in only four, like four years, right? Like, come on, we just That's celebrated right. yeah. <laughs> 200 episodes of AEW Dynamite, like 200. So true. And so much has happened already. It's it's crazy. So um, I do want to go ahead and kind of get into a little bit of your early career because, um, you know, a lot of people that I interview, a lot of wrestlers, for the most part, they grew up fans, right? They grew up fans of the product. And yeah, that's yeah. how they got into the wrestling business. But your story is different. You were involved. You were an actress and you got into a movie about pro wrestling. Can you tell us what happened there and just the story behind that? Yeah, of course. Uh, like I said, in Japan, wrestling business is not big as in here. And actually, when I was a child, I didn't watch pro wrestling on TV. So I really didn't know what is professional wrestling. And yeah, I, I wanted to be an actress and I went to the audition. Just normal audition, I thought. But it was like a... Okay, so from now you start training and you're going to be a wrestler. Then you can end the movie. But yeah, I know it's like a, the, the reaction. I, I did yeah. the reaction. Like, it's terrifying. What? Yeah. And I didn't know what is professional wrestling. So what? Yeah. <laughs> but. And I really didn't understand what I was doing why I'm doing the wrestling training I just wanted the uh, actress but I just realized when I watched the movie that professional wrestling make me more shine yeah and professional wrestling is the like as the uh miller to show who i am even if it's not even if oh shit i 
oh, it's so difficult to explain, but yeah. through through the wrestling, Fang see through the wrestling, Fang can see who I am. And it's I think it's more easy than to see through my acting. Yeah, so when I, I when I, I watch the movie I I was in, it's just suddenly like a oh I'm Like that was what you were meant to do. Yeah, I'm right? so sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. I'm it's following so you. I'm, no, I get you. everything that you're trying to explain. Yes. Like <laughs> it's almost like, you know, you found what you were meant to be by almost by accident. Yeah, that's that's true. And actually I I was I was talking about quiet wrestling. Like a, okay, we done the movie and no reason to do anymore so when I should quite wrestle I I was talking to the company but after I saw them I watched the movie no I I feel I was like I need to do wrestle to shine more to show Hikaru Shira to people more I need it I need wrestling to my life yeah that is beautiful man I love that it's like you're like I like that version of myself so much yes more than yeah, that that's version. right that's right but yeah the thing though Ashita and I'm curious about this because you know being an actress for the most part you know you're you're doing your lines it's a lot safer career than pro wrestling so <laughs> your family and your friends when you made this transition of like oh well you know I'm not gonna you know I'm gonna pursue wrestling more than acting what was their reactions to that Okay, my parents is kind of crazy. So I started practice judo when I was three years old and they play that Rocky soundtrack all the time during the training. So they're crazy. So <laughs> when I told them I start wrestle, they was like, a, okay, you have to be a champion. And like, a, yeah, yeah, with full support and like, a, <laughs> they'll be like a trainer. Like you need to do more and <laughs> just training harder. And it was crazy, but yeah. They 100% support, yeah. It's almost like they were, you. whatever you're going to do, you got to be the best at it, though. Yeah. Yeah, always, always. <laughs> so I, I love guess, that. I love that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's so cool to have your support of your parents to do something yeah. like this as wild as pro wrestling. And I also love the fact that they had the freaking Eye of the Tiger song going. That yeah. gets anybody pumped up, man. I don't blame <laughs> them for putting that on a loop. Um, I'm also <laughs> curious, too, and I uh, also want to get into... Uh, you know, given your uh, your rivaled history with Kana, who a lot of people now know as as Asuka, uh, you guys had a whole history there. And I know you guys were, uh, you know, really close friends also. Uh, do you guys still talk? Uh, how do you feel about her success as well? Yeah, actually, we... For now, we don't talk, but I'd have been freelance after six years I started wrestle and <clears throat> when I when I become freelance Kana-san is Kana-san told me many things like uh, how I how I negotiate to the companies and how I how I wrestle as freelance and 
yeah, she was, she was always like a teacher for me. I don't know how she feels, but for me, she was a, she was kind of a teacher, especially after I became a freelance because she was also freelance and so she taught me a lot of things and after she came to the US actually we don't talk maybe only one or two times so we don't talk and we don't text each other but still I learned so many things to see her way in here so even we don't talk still she's my teacher how behave as a champion and how we success in other countries so i'm yeah i i'm so respect her even we don't talk and yeah i'm so happy she's I'm so happy she is here and she's she's success a lot. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys get the chance to talk again and reconnect and reminisce yeah. about old times. I think that would be really incredible, but it is cool to see, you know, where you guys were at and, you know, what you both ended up doing in your respective careers. So that's really, really awesome. Uh, Sheeta, I know we only have a couple of minutes left, so I do want to go ahead and ask you a couple more questions. And then uh, if we have time, we'll do the lightning round. Uh, I do want to ask you, um, so I know that you know that I'm good friends with Will and he mm. used to do a podcast with me. And in that podcast, he was always like, she does the best, she does the best. Uh, now he's in AEW. Uh, uh, how's it been like working with Will? Yeah, he's a good friend now. I Actually, I I recognized he was the front row in the AEW show before. So what are you working on? Working for AW now? I was surprised, but now we're good friends and I know he is thinking about wrestling, thinking about AEW like a 24 hours. <laughs> and yeah, I really thank him to a lot of hard work for us. Yeah. That's really, really awesome. <laughs> Sheeta, I'm so excited to hear that. But also, uh, you know, uh, we kind of talked about your goals as champion earlier on, but I do also want to ask you, you know, some of your goals, just like in general, in AEW, outside of AEW, because I know you also do, you know, a lot of stuff outside of AEW. So I kind of just wanted mm -hmm. to see, you know, some of the things that you're still working on that, you know, that things you want to accomplish, essentially. My biggest goal in my life is the pirate movie i really, really want work as the actor in here yeah and that means i that means not i want to quite wrestler <laughs> i really want to do both same time because that's me yeah without wrestling or without acting he got a shit as no exist so i need both so yeah that's my goal big success in both career <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, manifest it, Sheeta, <laughs> and it will happen. All right. So let's get into the last portion of the interview. And I'm going to ask you 10 random questions. Some of them may be silly, but we're just going to run with it. And you yeah. answer them however you please. Uh, they're just some, you know, some, to get some fun facts, right? To get some fun facts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so here we go. Uh, question number one, who has been your favorite opponent throughout your entire wrestling career? Uh, Nyla Lowe's. Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> question number two. Which match in AEW are you most proud of? Uh, with Jamie Hayter. Yeah. Holiday Bash. That was epic. Yes. That was epic. Yes, I love that. Uh, your, your highest rated match, too. I saw that, too. Yeah. Four and a half stars. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, What is your favorite American snack or dish? Ah, Rishis. Oh, Rishis. Nice. I love it. <laughs> Uh, question number four. What's your favorite thing about your cat? 
ah, she sometimes brings flowers during I'm sleeping. Oh, what? Yeah, I I know she just want to play, but still, yeah. That is so cute. Oh my God, yeah. I love that. Uh, <laughs> question number five. How did it feel seeing yourself in the AEW Fight Forever video game? Ah, so cool. <laughs> Have it. you played yourself already? <laughs> actually, I'm not. Actually, AEW gave me the code, but it's American code, but my PlayStation account is Japanese, oh. so it doesn't work. I oh no! It's a buy. I I will. I will. I'm gonna yeah, stream. You, yeah. You got it. You got it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Question number six: What's been your favorite U.S. city to visit and wrestle in? Philly, because Ooh. I love Rocky. Rocky is my Bible, so yeah, Philadelphia is the most favorite. <laughs> good one. Good one. Question number seven: What's the craziest thing you've ever done? I don't know, maybe in the US? <laughs> that is pretty crazy, right? That is pretty crazy. I don't blame you on that one. I can't imagine uprooting my entire life and moving to another country. It's insane, <laughs> yeah. right? It's insane. Uh, question number eight. What's your favorite way to spend your time off? Play video games. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> and question number nine. What are some of your dream opponents? Dream opponents. Ah, oh. I I want to wrestle against Naomichi Marufuji again. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. I know it sounds crazy, but yeah. No, hey, that's your new <laughs> opponent. Let's keep it rolling. Last question. <laughs> question number ten. What is your all-time favorite movie? <gasps> ah, Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, really? Oh my gosh! So, you, are you a Potterhead? Yeah, actually, I learned English from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool! Through, 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 so, just by watching the movies, then, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I think I watched the Harry Potter movie like a hundred or two hundred. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Because uh, you know, have you tried to read the books in English? Do you think that would help? Like, yes, I did. Also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Oh yeah, my yeah, God! Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you did both then. Mm hmm. And actually, I I learned English from Harry Potter. So first, it's so hard because the intonation is so different in he here. So it's so it's so hard to understand what they're saying because I hear a lot of a British accent to learn English so it was I feel oh shit I don't understand the U.S. English I'm sorry I no you know what's funny <laughs> inside my head I was like I wonder if she knows any curse words in English and then I swear to god you said oh shit it was like it was I, was, I shouldn't say that. I'm so sorry. No, Excuse it's me. fine. I curse up here like a sailor. So I, I was curious about that because I feel like that's the first thing you want to learn when you learn a new language is some curse words, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious oh my god I'm sorry I didn't mean to cut you off either about you know what you're saying sorry but <laughs> yeah and some people asked, asked me why you have a British accent and because I learned from Harry Potter. <laughs> oh yeah, my god, that I is so love... funny. That's why that's one of the reasons why I so excited to go to London. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh my god. You could do like those tours where you go to like the the like where like wherever the location was filmed or whatever. Uh, I don't I know so, much yeah, about so. Harry Potter. Yeah. So. <laughs> But you should definitely, if you haven't already, go to Universal. Have you done the Universal Studios, Harry of Potter? Course. Okay, yeah, that was pretty oh, fun. Course, I did yeah. that. And I'm not even a fan, and I had a great time doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sheeta, I want to thank you so much for spending the time that you spent with me here today to talk some pro wrestling, Harry Potter, you name it. Um, I had a wonderful time getting to meet you for the first time and do this interview. Uh, before we go, please let the people know where they can follow you, support you, and any any last thoughts you want to get out there. Ah, 
Ah, uh, thank you. I'm so glad so many people support me more than imagine. And yeah, I know my English not good, good, but I'm still trying. And I always, I promise, I always do my best. So yeah, you can trust me. And <laughs> yeah, and I, I hope I have the lot of opportunity like this talking myself and yeah it was really fun actually it was really fun so I I'm so happy and yeah thank you so much thank you thank you Sheeta oh my gosh that was <laughs> awesome and it's only the beginning from here you're gonna you're gonna do so many more interviews and just like keep blowing it up uh, the next time we meet again you're gonna be like oh you know having the greatest time so it's gonna be yeah. awesome Sheeta. thank you so much seriously <laughs> thank you um ladies and gents this is your AEW women's world champion Hikaru Shida. I'm Denise Salcedo we'll catch you guys next time <laughs>